Hi there, and welcome to SEMrush Academy. If you're here, you're likely looking for guidance on how to create a successful email marketing campaign. In today's mini-series, we'll show you how to start an email marketing campaign, how to run your campaign, and how to craft emails that convert. So let's start with the basics. Join us for our first lesson, five easy steps for starting your email marketing campaign. What is email marketing? So what is email marketing? Email marketing is a direct channel that allows you to electronically send messages and materials to your subscribers' email addresses. Typically, these recipients have given you permission to send them emails. Email marketing provides so many opportunities. Let's take a look at why it's a great tactic to incorporate into your strategy. What makes email marketing so great? Sure, email marketing can take a lot of heavy lifting, but a well-composed campaign is oh so rewarding in the long run. And here are some of the main reasons. Scalability. Depending on where you start your email marketing journey, you can run a small or a large campaign suited to your business needs. Connection. Emails allow you to communicate, build trust, and nurture a relationship with your customers over time. Improved sales. Email marketing can help you reach more customers so you can make better offers, thus increasing your return on investment, ROI. Time efficient. Campaigns can be planned in advance and automated for ease. This means you can let them sit and do the work for you, while monitoring them, of course. Valuable. Emails are an easy, quick, and efficient way to provide education and value to your audience. Brand awareness. Email marketing campaigns that use consistent branding, tone of voice, and style can help you make a name for your brand. And personalization. Emails allow you to share your educational and valuable content offerings in personalized messages that make users feel like the messages are just for them. These are just some of the main benefits of starting an email marketing campaign, but we have no doubt you'll recognize the value as you become more invested in your campaigns. Now that we know what makes email marketing so great, let's get into the five steps of starting your email marketing campaign. Let's go. Step one, identifying the purpose of your campaign. As with any marketing campaign, you'll need to have a plan in place, and it involves more than deciding how many emails you should send each week. You also need to know your goals, what you're selling, and who your target audience is. So where do you begin? First, define your goals and KPIs. No marketing campaign is worth anything without knowing what defines success. What goals and KPIs should you consider when planning an email campaign? As for less measurable but still important goals, ask yourself, what do I hope to accomplish by organizing my campaign? What should readers take away from my emails? How do I want my audience to feel when they read my emails? Do I want to be known for my emails? Consider KPIs like the number of new leads you bring in, an increase in customer engagement, or a boost in brand awareness. For KPIs, you want quantifiable goals something you can measure or benchmark. Spend some time defining what you want your readers to get out of your marketing emails so you can better cater to their needs. This can help increase click-through rates and engagement. Define your target audience. Before you can create email content, you need to know your audience. If you don't, you risk sending an email to people who may not care about your product, service, or topic. When defining your audience, here are some questions you might ask yourself. What is their age range? What is their location? What is their gender? What pain points are they trying to overcome? Knowing your audience can help you build more efficient and targeted marketing campaigns that have higher click-through and engagement rates. And you can better cater your content to their needs. Step two, plan your content. Now that you've defined your target audience, you'll need to plan your content. But you can't just draw up a simple outline you'll need to create a plan with the intent to build a long-term relationship with your target audience. This must be done with care and consideration. So when planning your content, refer back to your goals and then get to the bottom of these questions. How often do you want to send out emails? Daily, weekly, monthly? How long should the campaign be? What kind of content will be in each email? News, offerings, educational videos, or something else? What value do you want to provide to your audience? What style and tone of voice will you have? Are you trying to get the people who engage less to click through more? 
do you want to reward the most active people on your list? This will give you ideas about potentially good strategies you can implement to help keep readers engaged. And it will let you focus your efforts on helping your customers succeed and overcome the problems they face. You can also use a SEMrush marketing calendar to help organize your marketing campaigns and see schedules for each email that goes out. It even connects to Google Analytics so you can track metrics. As for things you might consider putting in your email content, you can communicate news and updates about your product or service, promote educational content about your offerings, refer your new lead to a podcast episode, video, or blog post, or share content similar to your offerings but formed by other creators. When your content is helpful, actionable, and gives users the results they're looking for, you'll find recipients opening your emails. At the same time, they'll grow to appreciate your brand and buy products more, thus remaining loyal to you. And don't worry, we'll get more into the specifics of crafting email content in Lesson 3. Until then, let's move on to our next step, creating design templates. Step 3. Create design templates. A visually appealing email design will help keep your audience's attention. You don't want to send out an email that's just text on a blank background. It looks dull and may result in the user clicking away or deleting the email entirely. This is where creating a few branded email templates comes in handy. Not only do they make planning your email campaigns a little bit easier, they also save you time and effort. To make your email more pleasing to the eye, keep it simple and minimal. Add your brand colors and fonts. Make sure your font is a reasonable size. Use appealing imagery, videos, and GIFs. Avoid walls of text. And use a white background. If you're a beginner who needs help designing an email, most software offers templates to give you a good starting point. But be wary of some of the pre-made templates. They can be overly designed and glammed up with the intent to sell, which is the opposite of your goal with emails. If you happen to like a pre-made design, Follow our rules for designing emails to modify the template where necessary. If designing an email template is just not your thing, don't be afraid to hire a graphic designer to help you. While designing, think of your emails as a multimedia experience your recipients can't help but enjoy. Step 4. Select an email service provider, ESP. Once you know your goals, have defined your audience, and have crafted some great content, you'll need to select the right email service provider, or ESP, before you can hit the send button. Email service providers are more than just a place to collect email addresses. They're a place to craft great looking newsletters, implement email automation, and gather analytics for your users' behaviors. You have a huge variety of providers to choose from, and it all depends on your current need. But keep in mind, you'll want to choose a provider that can support you long-term as your mailing list grows. This will depend on how many emails you've collected, so choose your email service provider wisely. Some great ESPs to consider for your email marketing campaigns are MailChimp, MailerLite, ActiveCampaign, Constant Contact, Aweber, GetResponse, and so many more. Several email service providers offer free plans when you're first starting out, so you won't have to invest in a heavy-duty ESP right away but take some time to do your research on which one will be best for you and your goals. Step five, audit and update your campaign as needed. The work doesn't stop after you implement your email marketing campaign and get the ball rolling. Every good marketer consistently monitors and audits their campaigns to make sure they're performing as they should. If areas of your campaign are falling short, your vigilance in monitoring progress means you can make updates more quickly. So what are you watching out for when auditing your email marketing campaigns? Here are some things to consider. Overall performance metrics like CTR, deliverability, open rate, and engagement. Individual and triggered email performance. Subscriber list and behaviors. Email templates. Rendering issues. User experience. And outdated design or copy. Your business is always changing, and your email marketing campaign should change with it when it's appropriate. No one wants to participate in an active email automation with outdated information or offers. This could upset your audience, and you could risk losing customers altogether. 
We advise auditing your email marketing campaigns at least once a year or as often as necessary. Well, that sums up our first video on email marketing. We covered a lot of ground, but we hope this will serve as a worthy guide along your email marketing journey. Remember that email marketing is designed to keep customers engaged with your brand and what you have to offer. And we're going to dig more into that topic in our next video on steps for running an effective and profitable email campaign. To ensure you're getting the most out of your email marketing endeavors, lesson two is something you do want to stick around for. We'll see you in the next video.